First action item is a resolution in support of Transgender Vis Day of Visibility. Can I get a motion? I move the board approve the resolution in support of Transgender Day of Visibility, March 31st, 2024. Can I get a second? Kevin is the second. Would anyone like to read the resolution? Okay, thank you, Jess. Sorry, I'm trying to get organized. All right, in support of Transgender Day of Visibility, March 31st, 2024, whereas Transgender Day of Visibility is an internationally recognized awareness day that occurs every March 31st to celebrate transgender and non-binary people while bringing awareness to the discrimination and violence the community faces. And whereas positive and accurate representations of transgender and non-binary people provide crucial visibility of this diverse community and this, and, the, and this visibility helps those within the community to feel seen while helping others broaden their understanding of transgender identities and how it, to be increasingly supportive allies. And whereas the board wholeheartedly embraces Pooter School District's transgender and non-binary students, employees, and community members for the perspectives, experiences, advocacy, and diversity they bring to our schools and workplaces. And whereas the board recognizes that while visibility is an important step in the acceptance and celebration of transgender and non-binary people, there is more work ahead of us to ensure that in Poudre School District, transgender and non-binary people do not face discrimination or harassment based on their gender identity. And whereas Poudre School District is committed to providing a welcoming, supportive, inclusive, and safe environment, educational environment, regardless of gender identity, in order to ensure all students, families, and staff members feel valued, seen, heard, and empowered. Do I need to, sorry, I always don't know if I should read the now therefore be it resolved since we don't, I, okay, sorry. <laughs> now therefore be it resolved by the Pooter School District Board of Education that March 31st, 2024 is proclaimed Transgender Day of Visibility in Pooter School District. The Board of Education encourages students and staff to recognize, honor, and celebrate the dignity, humanity, and history of our transgender and non-binary community. Thank you very much, Jess. And I believe we have someone here to speak to us. We sure do. Joining us this evening to speak about Transgender Day of Visibility is our LGBTQIA plus coordinator, Shana Sychek. And Shana is also being joined by one of our incredible students, Arthur Lampkin from Fossil Ridge High School. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Again, today, as you're considering this resolution, we cannot ignore the fact that we're in the midst of an ongoing national conversation about school policies and support for trans students uh, following last month's tragic death of a non-binary Oklahoma teen, Nex Benedict. The information that is currently publicly available shows that Nex disclosed being bullied at school because of his gender identity for a year before being physically beaten in a school bathroom the day before he died by suicide. I bring Nex's story up today to connect with each other around our collective desire for all of our students to experience spaces of belonging where they feel safe at school. As a district, we know that our trans and non-binary students experience discrimination and barriers to their safety and their sense of belonging and we have outlined expectations for staff of ways that staff support our trans and non-binary students here as a step towards instilling trust to our students and their families that they will in fact be safe in our schools. While stories of pain, violence, and tragedy among the trans community are increasingly visible, so too should stories of love, joy, and triumph. This resolution highlights the importance of sharing trans stories for the betterment of everyone. And speaking further to this is Arthur Lampkin, whose pronouns are he, him, who is a sophomore at Fossil Ridge High School. So please welcome Arthur to the podium. Hello, my name is Arthur. Like Shana said, I am a sophomore at Fossil Ridge. I'm part of Fossil's GSA, Gender and Sexuality Alliance. I'm sorry, I had this whole serious speech prepared, but quick question. Can you see me? <laughs> you can? Fantastic, that means it's working. 
I'm kidding, of course. Clearly, Transgender Day of Visibility isn't for another week and a half, so I'm still invisible. I know, I know, that's not how it works. What we mean when we say visibility is awareness. Transgender Day of Visibility brings awareness to trans issues. My coming out as transgender affected not just me, but every person in my life in some way. The first people I came out to were my parents. I was told for years that they would support me no matter what, and I always rolled my eyes. But true to their word, when I told them I was a boy, they said, huh, okay. But my coming out to them was still a huge adjustment. They could still have conflicting emotions and difficult decisions to make. They can still face hostility and harassment the same way I can. Transgender Day's Day of Visibility is for my parents, too, and for all supportive families, biological or chosen, of trans people. I guess you could say, before the Day of Visibility, they were transparent. <laughs> the first people I came out to at school were my teachers. I am lucky to have teachers who I knew would support me. Still, it's a whole process for them, too. My band teacher has to figure out where I'm supposed to sleep when we go on trips out of state. When I take the PSATs in about a month, teachers have to juggle two different names. My teachers are supportive, but it can still be difficult to have a trans student logistically. Transgender Day of Visibility is for my teachers, too, and all of the other teachers out there trying their best to help guide trans kids through a system that isn't built for us at all. I didn't necessarily have to come out to a lot of people at school. Once my teachers started using my name, people caught on. I had to explain it to one of my friends, though. He said, how does that stuff, like, work? I didn't have a good explanation for him, so I just came up with something right there. Um, so some boys are born in boy bodies. I was born in a girl body. <laughs> he genders com me correctly and hasn't asked me much since, but it was terrifying to feel like the entire weight of his opinion of me and everything that came with that was up to one answer I had to give on the spot. It shouldn't have been all on me to educate him. Perhaps teachers have some awareness towards how to treat trans students, but there has been no education for students from my peers about, how the, the, about trans people and ways they can support the community. Transgender Day of Visibility is for my friends and peers, too, like another friend who, when I came out to them, said, can I tell you a secret? Me too. Some kids aren't fortunate enough to find that community at home or at school. In Shana's introduction, she talked about Nex Benedict, a 16-year-old transgender student who was severely bullied by their peers as a result of his school's anti-transgender policy. The superintendent of the school district has downplayed the tragedy and called the outrage towards Nex's death a woke mob. Politicians have responded to Nex's death by referring to him and other LGBTQ people as filth. With the cause of death being recently announced as suicide, and with the country gaining a greater understanding of the harms of unaccepting spaces, it's even more important for Poudre School District to affirm its commitment to the well-being of its trans students. When I read their story, the first thing I thought was, I am lucky that my story is about as radically different from Nexus as possible. The second thing I thought was, what could Nexus friends and family possibly be thinking right now? They say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I'll tell you it takes a community to support a trans kid through transition. Transgender Day of Visibility is about that community. It's about education, something that schools are created to do. It may just seem like another ceremonial resolution on your docket, but transgender issues go far beyond reading some statistics about bullying and thinking, gee, that's a shame. Trans kids and the people who support us deserve a day to be marked specifically for that education, for ourselves and others. And we deserve for that day to be meaningful, for this resolution to inspire actual change in Poudre School District that will help trans kids feel more accepted and supported. But, at the very least, we deserve to be visible. We deserve to be seen. Thank you. Would anybody like to make a comment? I'm 
Jess, go ahead. I do, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, you said it so well. I don't want to dampen it. I simply just want to say thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for sharing this day with your community, like everyone in your community, right? Your parents, your teachers, the trans community. Thank you for welcoming us all into being your ally. And thank you for being one of our students. You're phenomenal. Anyone else? Yeah, go ahead, Brian. Arthur, I, as your superintendent, I just want to say that I find you incredibly inspiring. And I'm grateful that your experiences uh, in PSD have been what they are to be your most authentic self. That's incredible. And I'm hopeful that when I say that we see you, I'm hopeful that you don't just see that in our words, but also in our policies. So thank you for representing not just yourself, but our entire PSD community. You've made us very proud. Anybody else? Arthur, if I could, um, that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I, I want to say to your parents, congratulations. Um, it is, as a fellow parent of a transgender child, um, it's not easy sometimes. Arthur, you're, you're making it easy for them. You are amazing, and you are going to go far in life. And I am just so proud to see you standing there as your true, authentic self, speaking from your heart and telling us that there is still work to be done. And that means so much to me. The reason that I actually became a board member was when my child went to school, um, they did not come out. They did not feel safe. They did not have the experience that you were having. And it warms my heart to know that you are having a much better experience than my child did. And I want you to know that we are not done. We will finish the work. Thank you. Oh, yes, Kevin, go ahead. Sorry, you moved me. Um, I did want to echo and say one thing that really stirred me in some of your comments were speaking to the moment that we, we find ourselves in nationally. And um, I know that my vote and support, which will be one with pride, is not just a meaningless vote for a piece of paper, but it is, to me, it signals a repudiation from this school district to those that you are speaking of, that this is who we are. And this is the, these are the morals that we stand for. And so when I vote tonight, it will be with pride and it will echo that sentiment. So thank you for, for naming that. Okay. Jill, can you call the vote? Jim Brokish. Aye. Kristen Draper. Aye. Connor Duffy. Aye. Kevin Havelda. Aye. Carolyn Reed. Aye. Scott Schoenbauer. Aye. Jessica Zamora. Aye. Motion passes 7-0.